Recently, Namibia received a consignment of Covishield vaccine from India consisting of 30,000 doses produced by the Serum Institute of India, which is the largest producer of vaccines in the entire world. The High Commissioner of India, Prashant Agrawal, now joins me, joins me with more on, this vac on the vaccines. Pardon me. Good morning, Your Excellency, and thank you very much for joining us this morning. Very good morning to you and to your viewers. It's such a pleasure to be here today morning. All right. Now, India has provided 30,000 doses of vaccines of the COVID shield vaccine to Namibia. How did this come about? Yes, uh, perhaps I should begin with a little bit of background on the vaccines. Yes, uh, please. Uh, as you also mentioned, uh, uh, India is the largest producer of vaccines in the world. In fact, if you look at the global vaccine supplies, uh, then nearly 60% of vaccines uh, come from India. Mm -hmm. And WHO, the World Health Organization, sources 70% of its vaccines from India. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about vaccines in general and not just COVID vaccines in particular. Okay. So, you know, if you look at children here, uh, there is a bright chance that, you know, most of their vaccines, uh, when they got vaccinated under the immunization program, also came from India. So when COVID-19 hit last year and, you know, uh, there was a, a, a need to, to, to develop and produce COVID-19 vaccines, uh, uh, we started early on setting up a production base along with the necessary research. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, in India, we started our own vaccination program on 16th of January. Okay. Uh, but we were very clear that uh, our uh, massive vaccine production capacity should not be used only internally because as you know in India also we have a large population so we also have a very large vaccine requirement of our own. Mm -hmm. But we were very clear that this production capacity of India should be used as a global good, as a global commons. And in that spirit we have been providing vaccines to a very large number of our partner countries. Mm -hmm. In fact, till date, uh, we have provided COVID-19 vaccines to nearly 80 countries uh, and about 64 million doses, uh, uh, either on a, uh, you know, on a, as a gift or on commercial basis or under the COVAX facility. Mm -hmm. So it's been a large effort. Now, coming specific to Namibia, uh, you know, as you rightly mentioned that we are a very close partner. So, in fact, India was the first country to offer COVID-19 vaccines to Namibia. Mm -hmm. uh, we did that on 8th of February uh, earlier this year. And when we received approval from your authorities to bring it this vaccine on 12th of March, we were able to quickly dispatch it within a week. Okay. And the vaccines arrived here on 20th of March. Okay. So this is how it happened. Mm -hmm. Now talk to us about this COVID shield vaccine. Uh, I'm glad that you are asking me that question because I think uh, we see a, a lot of sort of uh, curiosity about what Covishield is all about. Yes. So I would like to mention that Covishield is nothing but the name of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, okay. uh, which is produced by Serum Institute of India, which, as you rightly mentioned, that is the largest vaccine producer in the world. Now, uh, the Covishield vaccine is just the name of Oxford AstraZeneca. Now, it has, of course, received approvals from the concerned Namibian regulatory authorities, the Namibian Medicines Regulatory Council. But it has also received approvals from WHO. And in fact, it's only one of the only three vaccines in the world which received a WHO approval. Okay. Uh, that will happen on 15th of February. And it is being used uh, across the world in 93 countries as of now, mm -hmm. uh, which includes... Uh, of course, most countries in Europe, UK, India, Canada, a large number of African countries. So tens of millions of doses of uh, COVID shield have been administered across the globe. So I think the facts speak for themselves. So I think that is something that perhaps your viewers uh, would like to reassure themselves about. Mm -hmm. And I may also add that as we go forward and as we see more waves of uh, you know, uh, COVID happening, uh, I think vaccination will perhaps be only the way forward. For example, if you want to travel abroad, uh, you know, in coming weeks and months, there might be a requirement that, you know, you, you, you are required to be vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So I think we should look at it uh, from that perspective. All right. Hi, Commissioner. Are you aware if the COVID, COVID shield uh, vaccine has been rolled out in Namibia yet? Well, the vaccines arrived here on 20th of March, mm -hmm. and I think uh, today's 30th, so it's been nearly 10 days. So yes. 
so far we are not aware of any rollout or even a rollout plan mm -hmm. now obviously rollout uh, is a sole prerogative and responsibility of authorities here yes so but if you look at uh, uh, you know the 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 shelf life of the vaccines because you know vaccines have to be used within a certain time frame and you also look at the pace at which uh, you know vaccines are being administered and also if you look at uh, the 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 global shortages of these vaccines i think all these uh, sort of factors uh, would make me think that we should uh, start rolling out these vaccines at the earliest possible so we are very hopeful that that should happen uh, you know uh, as, as as soon as possible mm -hmm. is there a possibility that india could be donating more covishield vaccines to namibia uh, uh, my sense is that our first effort should be to use these 30,000 doses yeah. at the earliest. Uh, uh, I'm also aware that uh, uh, there have been sort of discussions and offers since quite some time to offer more doses to Namibia. Now, uh, you know, the global supply is in a very fluid situation because of very high demand. So, uh, but um, I can reassure you that if the need so arises, we will do our very best to facilitate, uh, you know, this process. Mm -hmm. Is um, India also involved with the COVAX uh, facility or mechanism in any way? Uh, in a big way, actually. Okay. Uh, and as you are aware, COVAX is a global multilateral effort to provide vaccines to about more than 90 countries uh, which don't have a domestic production capacity. And the idea was to, uh, uh, you know, provide vaccines to at least 20% of the target population in these countries. So COVAX brings together a large number of producers, governments, donors, uh, and international organizations. Uh, uh, the Serum Institute of India has been the largest provider of vaccines to COVAX, actually. Mm -hmm. And in the first phase itself, they have committed almost 200 million doses. And I'm happy to inform you that uh, uh, when uh, the COVAX uh, vaccines, vaccines in the COVAX started arriving in Africa, which happened on 26th of February when the first consignment reached Ghana. Mm -hmm. They came from India, from the Serum Institute. Okay. And practically all vaccines to Africa so far have come under uh, COVAX from India. Mm -hmm. Now, High Commissioner, in your opinion, why do you think Namibia has not received um, the vaccines from the COVAX facility yet? Uh, so, uh, under the COVAX, uh, as I mentioned, that Serum Institute of India is the provider of the vaccines, but uh, the administrative and logistical arrangements are done by the respective countries with mm -hmm. the COVAX directly. So, we are not part of that process, so mm -hmm. I will not be able to answer that uh, question in mm -hmm. particular. But let me reassure you that uh, if there are any delays or any time taken, because I've seen some, some reports to the contrary circulating, uh, I can reassure you that the delays have not been on our side. Mm -hmm. As we conclude our conversation, do you have any final remarks to share with us as far as the COVID shield vaccine is concerned? Uh, as I told you, the, the facts speak for themselves. I think there is a very large data of uh, scientific uh, uh, you know, information available. I think for a very large number of countries, uh, you know, the regulatory authorities have approved its use. And as I told you, uh, millions of doses have already been administered. So I think we all need to make a very informed choice. Uh, uh, and uh, as I mentioned, vaccination seems to be the only way forward. All right. Thank you very much, High Commissioner, for talking to us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome.